Hey, Teddy K here for the Best Buy blog, and in this video review, we take a look at the Benji Lock by Hampton Padlocks. These are padlocks that have built-in fingerprint sensors that let you open them up without having to use a key. At its most basic level, really, the Benji Lock is just a padlock with a fingerprint sensor. This isn't a smart device in that you're going to control it with a dedicated app or that it uses Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or anything like that. It doesn't, it doesn't integrate into a smart home in that regard. So it's it's your fingerprint, really. I mean, it's like you would use with a phone, but you're using with a padlock instead. And basically, it's, it's a simple premise. So you're just using your fingerprint to unlock it, and that's it. Now, the padlock itself is, it's made well. I mean, there's a die cast zinc body. You have a chrome plated hardened shackle uh, that I think will be a little hard to, to cut uh, if anybody's trying to do that. And even though there is the fingerprint sensor, of course, you can use a key to do it the old fashioned way, particularly with the 43 millimeter model, which is the main lock. Now I'm going to focus primarily on this one because this is probably the most versatile, whereas the travel one is really more for luggage. You're not really going to use this uh, in most situations, I think, unless, you know, maybe a bag or something like that. But uh, this is made for indoor and outdoor use. So it can, it can work in minus 20 degrees to 65 degrees Celsius. Of course, in Canada, where some places are going to be colder than that uh, in the winter time, uh, you may not have the fingerprint sensor work in those conditions, but it doesn't mean that the lock won't work. So really the temperature range is referring to just the fingerprint sensor, not the lock itself. The key will still open it up if it's too cold. In the case of the travel lock, this is uh, not for outdoor use. So it doesn't have the same you know, flexibility that way. Uh, the setup process for both of these is just a one pager, it's a step-by-step -step guide. You would look at it and think, okay, well, it seems pretty straightforward. You're probably going to make a mistake along the way. It just, that's just the way this process works. Uh, they are slightly different between these two models, but the point is that you're supposed to register your fingerprint. You can then register up to 10 more. Uh, beyond that, uh, it could be yours or it could be somebody else's, so it doesn't always have to be your own. The travel model does not have its own key. It does look like it has a keyhole, but that's actually for the TSA in the US uh, who could easily unlock this if they want to check your bag without ruining the lock. It has happened before. So that's the only reason why that's there. Whereas the 43 millimeter model does come with two physical keys that you can use so that you can unlock it the old fashioned way if you want to, or in case you want someone to unlock the lock, but not necessarily do it through a fingerprint. The battery life on both of these is pretty long. Uh, I've had Benji locks for years and they typically last about a year, uh, maybe less, maybe more, depending on the conditions, especially outdoors, like if it's exposed to colder weather or hotter weather, I find that's gonna affect the battery life a little bit, but you're still, you're, you're measuring in a matter of months. And the durability is quite good too, because even in colder weather, eventually, when it hits that range, I mean, the fingerprint sensor will work. Although I have seen it work in minus 25. So I don't know, uh, I guess it's, it's relative. But either way, the, the key here is that, again, the convenience of being able to unlock something, uh, you know, with your fingerprint. Now, there are times uh, where the, it just doesn't seem to register the first time and then so you got to do it again. I don't know, it's hit or miss, but there's just an example of that there. Uh, but other than that, I mean, this is a pretty straightforward product. So if you need a padlock and you want the, a fingerprint sensor on there, this is, it just does that job. I mean, it has one job to do and that's it. And it does it pretty well. Other than that, there's, there's nothing really intricate about <laughs> either of these locks. They're just made for locks. I mean, to lock things. Uh, yeah, the travel one has a combination. You can uh, do a, a, a numerical combination in the back too, to unlock it in lieu of a physical key but those are really the only major differences between them. And that's about it. And that's my review of the Benji Lock by Hampton. For the Best Buy blog, I'm Teddy Kay. Thanks for watching.